guys, how are you guys doing today? And as you can see, there's a nice little Facebook notification. Iron Man 3, I'll check it out later. But anyway, today I'm going to be talking about an app which I use frequently for my iTunes library, which I think you should also check out. So, today we're basically going to be talking about the app Taglicious. Now, let me just give you a brief idea of what it does. It basically scans your iTunes library. It doesn't have to be the entire library. It could be one song or your new songs or your entire library. So it'll basically scan them and it'll fill up any missing album details or artist details, artwork, every kind of information there is. Well, not all of it, but just the main important bits. And uh, it is available in the Mac App Store for $9.99, even though the price is not that cheap it still does the job and I think it is worth it. Now, there is also an alternative called TuneUp, which a lot of people seem to use, but that is more expensive, so I could consider this, consider this as a cheaper alternative, which also works. So as you can see, I'm going to be showing you the app in just a bit, and apparently the reviews are pretty good, so I guess it's not much of a bad app. So let me just show you how it works. So let's go to iTunes. And if you can notice here, there are two songs right here. One is by two of my favorite bands, which is the Beatles and Queen. There are also a lot of other bands which I like, but these two are my main ones. Anyway, let's go to right click and get info. And if you can see right here, this is what a lot of people tend to do, especially my friends. They add the title of the song and the name of the artist in the name of the song. And they leave out the artist, album artist, album, genre, ear, and of course, importantly, the artwork which I think is mostly important. And uh, as you can see, it's also the same thing with the other song, The Show Must Go On by Queen, everything is left out and artwork. And I really don't like this because one, not only does it have, well, a disadvantage to appearance, but also a practical disadvantage because if you're gonna find your songs in the library, it's gonna be a hell of a mess. And it's just, blech. So that's why I'd rather have my library organized with artwork and proper album details and artist details and it just looks good that's all i have to say so let me just show you how taglicious works let me just get this up and this is how the interface should look like so as you can see it's simple and if you can notice these icons right here if you see the green icon that means that song has been tagged and sent to itunes so it's done if you notice an orange icon that means it has been scanned and is waiting for your approval if you would like to change a couple of stuff and the ones that are blank obviously not scanned. Now sometimes you would also get a red icon meaning that it has an error or basically cannot find any information or you just need to provide a little bit more information. Now let's go to that playlist with, with, with the song that I just showed you. Now as you can see, what I normally do is I sort them out by date added every time I add a new song and I just scan them like that. So in order to scan the songs, all you have to do is click on the song and you can move and it'll start automatically scanning and you, if you move to the next one it should also start scanning and if you can see already it has got the details now you can see this is before and after so it has organized the name the artist the album uh, the genre it has also got the year the track number out of what in what order the album artist as well now here's the only issue that I have with Tagalicious. Now the problem is sometimes it doesn't get the lyrics most of the times. With some songs you get the lyrics and at some point and in certain scanning cases you will get the lyrics right here. So sometimes the lyrics work and sometimes the lyrics doesn't work. That's the only problem I have and sometimes even a common song I would find it still doesn't find that song but that is pretty much a rare case. Otherwise, it would be fine. So as you can see, it got the album artwork as well. Now, if you don't like the album artwork, then you, all you have to do is just click on the album artwork and it will provide you with some alternatives. But this is also another problem. Most of the album artwork is never really good in this. Now, for Abbey Road, of course, there is a good one right here, which, which is a pretty big size, but the problem is it's not in a square size. So I'm, I'm also going to be showing you how to uh, get album artwork in a quicker way using iTunes after this. So I'll show you that in a bit. So for the show must go on, everything is just set. The title, the artist, the album, everything is just set up. Now, if you happened to have scanned this 
with some information already. Let's say you scan a song and there is already the artist and somehow Taglicious just replaces it with something else. Let's say the, the album in this earlier was Innuendo and it has replaced it with something else. You can always change it back by clicking on the previous one and it should set it to this and replace everything else. So that's a good advantage as well. Alright, so now that we're done, you can see the orange icons are right here. So when you're done, you just highlight the music that you want to send. So you just highlight them and click on send all to iTunes. Alright, so now what it should do, it should send it to your iTunes library and as you can see you should get these green checked icons to show that they're done. And if we go to iTunes, you can see it has been changed. Now here's the thing, I do love the album artwork, I really do. I mean it, it's a really decent size, but if you can notice over here you can see these black bars and if you were to have it on your iPhone you would notice those black bars. So how do we change that? Here's another thing we can do. I'm going to go to Get Info, go to Artwork, and then click on this album artwork and delete it. Now I'm going to show you a small trick that I usually do as well. Now using iTunes you can actually scan for album artwork. It's just that you need to have the correct album label. Now let's say the album is Abbey Road. So if you got that right, right click, click on Get Album Artwork. Now if you just wait a bit, there we go it automatically gets a decent looking album artwork which is pretty good now let's see for this one you can see the album artwork is pretty small it's not that clear so all we can do is go to get info click on the album artwork and delete it now the album name is just fine so let's right click and get album artwork and there we go it has got it it doesn't look that great but it's at least very clear considering that it's iTunes quality and there we go, we have organized these two songs and then we can add it to our library, even though it's already added. So, that is basically it of Taglicious. Now, if you do not have the album name, then iTunes will send back a message saying that it cannot scan because there is not enough detail. So, basic, make sure that you have the album name and the artist name typed in so that it can scan in the iTunes store. If you don't know... Well, that's pretty much all you need to know. Anyway, that's about it. That is basically what Taglicious is meant to do. Um, that's basically it. So it's available in the App Store for $9.99. And hope you guys try it out. It's a great app. I, I use it quite a lot. So that's all I'm going to say. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why don't you subscribe for more great videos. Give this video a thumbs up. And that's about it. You guys take care.